Hello everybody, thanks for watching the Open Pepper Breeding Channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, we are a community project using the power of social media to distribute the workload in a plant breeding program. And uh, we are breeding a pink eye charpita and a pink Brazilian starfish. And we are currently in the F1 generation. So this is the first generation after a biparental cross. This is the third update. And so this is occurring at 11 weeks. Uh, last week we looked at some of the early flowers on the F1 plants and we quickly went over how to do manual pollinations using an electric toothbrush. I encourage you to please look back at that video if you would like some help with that. Uh, this week we're going to go and look at some of the immature fruit and so these are the fruit that have formed in the last two weeks and so most of these fruit are under that two week uh, time point. So before we begin I thought it'd be helpful to show you guys how my tent is laid out. And so I use these little black trays and these are the trays that don't have holes in them. And then I had to cut one in half to fit an odd space in the corner. But it allows me to fit four full trays and one half tray and that gives me plenty of space to grow out all these plants. And these are just in little four inch pots. And I think this is what uh, I'm gonna continue to fruit them in. You do have to water them about daily when they get to the bigger size here. Uh, but that's no big deal. I'd rather water them daily than have to water them every five days. So the plants are growing under a 300 watt light and uh, it's about 16 to 18 inches away from the crowns of the plants and that's just to prevent light burn. And then I recently invested in a exhaust fan so that just drones on. It reminds me of like the late 90s in my bedroom with one of those old AT server cases and like 220 millimeter fans droning on. Kind of sounds like a, a 747 idling in here. So fun times but it's necessary you know these plants don't want to sit in 98 degrees all day long anyways let's go and take a look at some of these plants so the first plant in our selection of crosses is PA001 this is yellow Brazilian starfish across the sugar rush peach and so this is a bacotum by bacotum cross and it's the only cross that we're using for our pink Brazilian starfish uh, there's no immature fruit to be shown because we have immature flower buds so it'll be another couple weeks before we have a flower and a fruit to show off here. The second cross is PA002 and PA003. And so PA002 is Habanada crossed Ahicharapita. And as you can see, we have immature fruit. And so they are, it looks like they are going to be a small size. And it looks like they're going to be pretty much round. And that's what you expect when you make a cross with Ahicharapita. You see, we can just, we have uh, three fruit at the first level here, and we have plenty more fruit that are developing and forming. And this is PA003, and so this is uh, the same two parents, but this is with Ahi Charapita as the mother. And uh, it's a little bit further behind, uh, but we do have some immature fruit forming in here. Uh, probably in the next update, we'll take a better look at the two of them and make a good comparison. The next set of families is PA004 and PA005. And these are the crosses of Shiroha by SC, crossed Ahi Charapita, and the reciprocal. And as a reminder, it turned out that Shiroha by SC segregates for purple leaves and green leaves. And so rather than arbitrarily pick a purple or a green F1, I decided to keep one of each. And so from each of these families, I actually have two F1s. So this is PA004, Shiroha by ACP, and you can see the immature fruit here. And so it's just a real small fruit, which you would expect from Ahi Charapita. And it's also got kind of a teardrop shape, kind of like a bikini. And uh, we can come take a look at the other guy here. And so this is PA004, but it's the green one. And you can see, although it's smaller, we have another small fruit with a teardrop shape. And then PA005, let's see if we can find a fruit here. So the purple one, we don't have a fruit yet, but on the green one from PA005, we have the same uh, small size teardrop shape like Bikinia. So it looks interesting. Uh, like I said, the F2s out of these guys will be really cool. Next set of crosses is PA006 and PA007, and these were the crosses of Ahi Charapita and Fidalga Roja and the Reciprocal. 
So these plants were a little bit later to flower than the crosses with uh, Shiroha by SC. Uh, but you can see we have a nice proliferation of flowers. And I can assure you they're setting. And so it'll just be a matter of a week or two before we'll have immature fruit to look at. So that brings us to the last cross. And so this is PA008 and this is Ahichar Pita cross to Pink Habanero Long. And uh, as you can see, we have flowers at the first level, uh, but we don't have any immature fruit yet. So if you like these videos, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you could, give us a quick like. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll, I'll answer the ones that I'm able to. Really looking forward to, to seeing the mature fruit on these guys and uh, I hope all of y'all will be there with us. If you'd like to participate in the spring, consider uh, finding us on Reddit at our pepper breeding. Uh, there you'll find a sign up for the F2. And uh, we'll be distributing seeds from all these F1 families, uh, donated by the other users and myself. And then we'll be growing out giant F2 populations and uh, finally doing our selections for the pink ahi charpeda and the pink Brazilian starfish. Looking forward to it. I know you guys are too. Again, please subscribe and share. We appreciate it. Helps us get the message out to a wider audience. Thank you guys.